Hey everybody, what's up? Yeah, I'm back after basically five days away. Um, uh, the reason I was gone was because, as we like to say in the job business, for bereavement reasons. The bereavement reasons were basically my uh, grandma on my dad's side, my dad's mom, ha had passed away. So, uh, we, me and my sisters went out to Kansas to pay our respects and to support my dad. And that's where we were up until just recently. Because today, yesterday, I guess now, um, we uh, left on, uh, well basically yesterday, because it's now Monday, um, we went on a, we went from case, we spent some time with my dad, and then we went to the airport a little early, um, did what we could around there, and, um, yeah, that was about it, and, uh, I'll say this about some airlines, they they got some unique routes to take to your desk to to get someone to the destination. I mean, you have, for example, we have uh, coming. For example, when we went to Kansas, we went from San Francisco to San Diego, then San Diego to Kansas City International, and then going back, we went from Kansas City International to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, then from there to San Francisco which is kind of crazy, but that, that's what happened. But, uh, yeah, we, we had a decent time, and I'll tell you more about it later down the line. But, anyway, the reason I'm here to do this video is to do something I've been wanting to do, I was planning to do originally, uh, even before all of this came up. Um, of course, like I said, with the summer and stuff, things change, and this was basically, un uh, this basically here was an unexpected change, uh, to say the least. I mean, not, no, nobody likes to go through this. So, um, but yeah, my original plan was to do what I was going to do on my birthday, if not the day before. What's interesting, though, is depending on where you were, you got to have Wi-Fi. Some of the restaurants or bar and grills that me and my sisters and my dad would go to had Wi-Fi. Some of the airports had Wi-Fi. And I'll say this. I was able to keep track of one of my packages, and one of these packages was supposed to come the day before my birthday, but ended up coming the day after, two days after. Now I can understand maybe because there have been some storms lately uh, in the in the vicinities. I should know because we got rained on a little bit uh, in Milwaukee before we took off. So anyway, with that said, I actually have two packages that was supposed to, that have arrived. One I believe did show up on my birthday, and one showed up again, like I said, two days after its original um, delivery date. So, let's take a look at them. First of all, we have this one from Amazon. We have this one from Amazon. I pretty much know what's in here, but I don't think you guys know yet. So, let's open up this one first and see what's been waiting for me for the past two to three days. Or in this case, past day or so. I kind of consider this like an early birthday gift to myself because, or a birthday gift to myself because basically I'm not going to be able to get anything else. So let's see what's in here. Uh, we've got some Blu rays and something else. We've got receipt. No, we don't. We have no receipt. So let's see what these are. We'll start with the Blu rays. <laughs> oh, nice. Now, I'll, I'll tell you this. There are some movies that I will watch many times or go to the theaters and see many times. And when this movie came out, 
I definitely wanted to see it many times because I thought the animation was great. I thought the storytelling was good. And just overall a beautiful animated film. And of course, I'm talking about DreamWorks 2004 release of Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Now, this is the official, this is the first time this has been on Blu-ray, second time on DVD, but first time on Blu-ray. I bought the DVD the moment the movie was released on DVD. So, really looking forward to seeing this in high definition. People have, re have done reviews about it, who have gotten it on Blu-ray, and have said it looks fantastic. Cannot wait to see this on Blu-ray. Cannot wait to see it. Next up, we have something that looks like it was repackaged, but it's okay. Doesn't have the slip cover, unlike maybe what Zero Nitrate may have got. But I do have the slip cover to the original DVD release. I got the DVD release immediately the moment it came out on DVD when I worked at the Walmart in Lawrence, Kansas. And of course, I've been wanting to get the Blu-ray, because it's got more features, and the, it just, you, you know, overall better quality on Blu-ray, there's no doubt about it. And I'm talking, of course, about Superman Doomsday, which was DC's, uh, which was the DC animated original, the first DC Universe animated uh, original film done. This was the first one out of this entire series of original uh, animated films to garner the PG-13 rating. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing this on Blu-ray down the line as well. And then finally, we have something that I basically had downloaded via torrents because it was shown uh, in theaters and then later on in the UK or so it was released on DVD and I think Blu-ray. But all it was was the uh, original English version. This one promised a lot more. And of course, I'm talking about the 10-year anniversary movie, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time, the Blu-ray version. And the bonus features on here are a feature flashback and the original Japanese movie with original with English subtitles. So basically you get what you're watching on, um, well, basically, you'll get the Bonds Beyond Time movie as you've seen it English wise and English adapted, but you'll also get the original Japanese movie with the English subtitles. So, you're going to be able to have a choice between those. I'm really looking forward to seeing this on Blu ray as well. So, three new Blu rays to add to the collection. Very good. And then last but not least, we have something that I've wanted to get for myself, so I'm going to give the other one to my mom. We have the Olympus Digital Voice Recorder VN72, uh, VN722PC. Digital voice recorder. And this has 16 hours, 14 gigabytes, MP3, Windows Media Audio, PC Link, and Calendar Search, which is pretty cool. It has l low noise reduction. Simple mode, 
seven recording scenes, voice filter, built-in stand, which is good, and file divider, which is good. And it shows you basically what it's capable of as well. Uh, yeah, I got this. And what's funny is this one that's similar at my job, but it's only two gigs and less hours. And it costs more, about a dollar or two more. This was a lot cheaper, and I'm thankfully glad to have it. So the other one I'll probably give to my mom uh, down the line. So... Glad to have this one, and this will help with a lot of things like the audio reviews and things like that as well. Pretty cool with that. So that's the first of the birthday package openings. Next up, oh my goodness, we got a big one uh, from Frank Hill. Got a big one from Frank Hill here, or it's Frank. First time he's ever sent anything like this. Postage cost his postage here cost 1745. Wow. And it was sent out Oh man, it was sent out two days before my birthday, so no wonder it took a while get no wonder it got here so quickly. But yeah, first of all, Frank, I do apologize for not getting here in not opening this sooner, as you know. I already told you why. But it looks like you put some work into it, so let's see what you've got sent me this, uh, sent me here, and uh, see if I can open this without. It's not gonna be easy, is it? Luckily, I have um, ways of doing things. Get a little bit of an opening here. Okay, there we go. You don't want to do it that way, but... put a lot of tape on this, didn't you? Or, I guess the post office did. So you used these in the first place. <laughs> My dog's running. Yes, dog was happy to see me when I came back, so. Oh boy, Let's see what we got here. See this again. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a couple of wrapped gifts. Thank you very much. Appreciate this. And a card. Thank you very much, Frank. Let's see. Uh, it's your birthday. Take the opportunity to look within yourself, discover your heart's desire, and pursue it with enthusiasm. In other words, do what makes you happy. From It's Frank, Frank Keel. Thank you very much, Frank. Appreciate that. And apparently, Got some stuff here. We'll look into these first. Okay, first of all, Frank, I haven't had time to watch your video response uh, to to me, but I'm pretty sure you did a great job. Um, I apologize, I haven't had time to watch it. I've been working and of course with this whole situation um, 
I do apologize. I will try to find time to, to watch it down the line, but I'm pretty sure you've done a great job in the response, and I appreciate it. So thank you very much. So um, let's see what It's Frank sent me this time. As you can see, he put some gift wrap here, so that's good. Oh, we got one. We got, oh. <laughs> oh, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. He did. He did. Now I don't have to worry about this. We have on DVD Darkwing Duck. It's a wonderful leaf. Disney Movie Club exclusive. Thank you very much, Frank. Uh, in case nobody knows about these Disney Movie Club exclusives, uh, these are movies, uh, these are DVDs or Blu rays with companies like Disney, Warner Brothers, and all that, that only are released directly from a different source. Um, in other words, should, in other words, because it doesn't probably sell as much as they think it would in, in retail, the only way they know people are going to want to get it, because they know people will want it, is um, through this. So thank you very much, Frank. I really appreciate that. And I can officially say, thanks to It's Frank, that my Tailspin collection is complete. Yeah, Tailspin, Volume 3. Two disc set, 11 episodes. Yeah, just glad to have this. Thank you very much, Frank. Um, I've been planning to try to get this, but now I don't have to. The reason being is because of the fact that to me, I think it's kind of crazy that, you know, the Disney Movie Studios would, or not Movie Studios, but Disney's Movie Club would do this. I kind of find it crazy that Disney won't even decide, won't even decide, hey, let's just put them on retail and see what happens, so. But still, I'm very glad to have it, and thank you very much, Frank. I'm looking forward to watching these episodes, and now I can watch the entire series whenever I want, especially when it gets into the fall season. Well, school season and my mom's back at work I can watch them in high def courtesy of the Blu-ray player so thank you very much on those now let's see what else he sent here it looks like a big one another one here let's see what oh no <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Oh, but there's no covers. I'll be damned. No covers. No, thank you very much. Here we have Have Yourself a Goofy Little Christmas, which so far that I know is the only Disney Afternoon Primetime special because it was in primetime uh, when it came out. Look, really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed it. I recorded it so many times when I finally got a chance to watch it that I made sure to have enough of them. So we have Goofy's Have Yourself a Goofy Little Christmas. And of course we have both volumes of Goof Troop. And to me, this is something that should have been released a long time ago. You know, not as Disney Movie Club exclusives, but long time ago. That, that's what I look at. Should have been done in, in, in that manner. Oh, I see what he did here, maybe. He kind of fixed the cases, because you know what? I don't think anybody likes those cases that they originally put in. So, thank you very much for these, Franks. I'm, Frank. I'm going to really enjoy watching them. But I know we got more in here. This is from Toys R Us. Here we have... Oh, my God. Whoa! Holy smokes! Wow, this is definitely going to get framed. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, I'll keep this safe. So I'll probably put one of the DVDs until further notice, but... 5x10. I think it's a 5x10, isn't it? I think I got a 5x10 somewhere, but... Thank you very much. We're looking for, I'll keep that safe. Oh, 
here we go. Kaboom! Dark Wing Duck. How about that, huh? Must have been one of the newer ones. But thank you very much on this, Frank. Definitely going to enjoy reading it. And then this. Oh, Smokes Super Interactive Annual 2014. Whoa, I've, I've never seen this before. I don't, I don't even think they advertised it. How about that? Pretty cool. Thank you very much, Frank. Really appreciate this. Very interactive. It's got profiles in here. It's really, really cool. And it's got some stories as well. How about that? Look at that. That is pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, the only problem though, Frank, is I don't have a, an iPod or anything like that, so <laughs> maybe down the line. Yeah. Oh, I see what this is. This is pretty cool. This is part two. It's got both parts in it uh, of the comic. And it's basically the official beginning story of the Mecca Sally arc. Which, um, as I've said before, had its flaws, but... What are you going to do, huh? Pretty cool that they've uh, incorporated the Archie stories in this. That's really nice. So, thank you very much, Frank, for a lot of this stuff here. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely going to keep this all together. Like I said, we're definitely going to keep a lot of this together. Again, thank you very much for this. I'm putting the uh, card in safekeeping right in there between my wrestling books. Won't get hurt there until I get a 5x10 for it. But thank you very much, Frank. And uh, again, I apologize to anybody that, you know, for not being around for as long as I was. Of course, you have to understand the reason, but I'm definitely happy to be home and uh, definitely looking forward to catching up with some reading, some watching, and just going from there. And so I'm going to say thank you all. God bless. Uh, take care. Comment below. And I am out. And again, thank you, Frank, for the gifts. And comment down below, folks, and tell me what you think.